During the early 1980s, Northrop works on designs for their stealth bomber. The entire project is buried deep within the highly classified and ultra-secret black program. At the time, the U.S. black program is so secret that even those that know about it are forbidden from ever acknowledging its existence. Even Congress is denied from knowing how and where money is being spent. The Soviet Union was carefully examining things like American technical journals and the American defense budget so that they would know what threats they'd have to deal with in the upcoming years. And in order not to have this very nifty new bit of stealth technology apparent to the Soviets just by picking up the annual published defense budget, they had to make it what's called a black program. With costs rising higher and higher, Northrop and its partners work against the clock. Originally, the contract had been clear in its requirement. Build a heavy bomber that could never be seen by enemy radar. The solution seems impossible. What Northrop had to do was develop a computer system that would enable the B-2, as it came to be called, to stabilize itself using feedback and the fastest computers they could get. So the stabilization of a B-2 flying wing configuration becomes a software and computer hardware problem. It becomes a cybernetic problem. By the mid-80s, and despite some of the most stringent checks, rumors began to circulate about what might be going on behind Jack Northrop's door. Press reports, artists' impressions, magazine articles, and even automobile commercials began guessing as to what is happening behind these doors. Finally, Northrop unveils its new aircraft on November 22, 1988, when it is rolled out of its hangar before an astonished crowd. Called the B-2, the experts are staggered at this radical new aircraft. The crowds are only allowed to view it from the front, but they have never seen anything quite like it. Nobody could possibly keep this image off a television screen. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's odd, it's strange, it's exciting, and by God, it's American. But even as it rolls out of the hangar, time is running against the B-2. The Soviet Union seems like it is crumbling, and with it, the need for an intercontinental bomber. The Cold War has come to a peaceful end. It appears as though the need for a 21st century heavy stealth bomber might be consigned to the scrap heap. Before starting his own aircraft company in 1938, Jack Northrop assisted in the design of both the Douglas World Cruiser, the first plane to fly around the world, and the Lockheed Vega, the plane Amelia Earhart flew non-stop across the Atlantic. Modern Marvels will be right back. On November 22, 1988, the Northrop Corporation staggers the world when it unveils its B-2 stealth bomber. After years of working behind a complete screen of secrecy, the team of visionaries at Northrop have rewritten the rules of aircraft design. The technological array is awesome. With over 130 onboard computers controlling every element of the aircraft, the B-2 is light years ahead of anything yet built. A variety of techniques are combined to make this aircraft almost invisible to radar. Its smooth surface and shape consists of all curves, yet they are not consistently identical. The aircraft appears to continually change shape from whatever angle it is viewed, thereby confusing the radar, and whatever beams are locked onto it are either reflected into outer space or are reduced and dissipated into nothing. The B-2 is coated with special RAM, radar-absorbent materials, such as carbon fiber composites and top-secret reflective paint that further reduces its detection from the enemy. Finally, its electronic countermeasures such as jamming an enemy's radar make this aircraft almost undetectable. In fact, 
the B-2's radar cross-section is 1,000 times less than that of the B-52. If you take a really big aircraft, but make it essentially really flat, then when radar looks at it, instead of seeing a big round thing flying towards them, it'll, it'll just have a sort of pancake. It's like seeing the, the edge of a knife. When the B-2 makes its maiden flight on July 17, 1989, it flies every bit as good as it looks. The B-2 has a 172-foot wingspan, is 69 feet long and 17 feet high, weighing in at nearly 154,000 pounds empty and 375,000 pounds loaded. It is a monster. Approximately 80% of its structure is made of carbon fiber composite, lighter than aluminum, stronger than steel. Its four low-noise General Electric F-118 engines each provide almost 19,000 pounds of thrust. They have special exhaust vents on the top of the wings, which, when its hot gases are mixed with cooler air, make it almost undetectable to heat-seeking SAMs. With a top speed of approximately 680 miles per hour and a service ceiling of 50,000 feet, this massive aircraft also can fly approximately 6,000 miles without refueling. No target anywhere in the world is safe from its weapons. And the amount of weapons it can carry is awesome. 40,000 pounds of conventional, laser-guided, or nuclear bombs and missiles. 